Okay, well, this is a free bike that I just got from down the road. It had a little sign on it with this piece of uh, string, hairy string holding on there. It's a Claude Butler Genesis, hand built in England. From Reynolds, chrome wally tubing. Doesn't tell you what type of chrome wally, like yeah, 853, 501, 531 anything like that but it's chrome molly nonetheless that makes this bike technically better than anything you get from mafia bikes or collectives bmx range um no i'm just kidding but most of the uh collectives and mafias are high tensile steel so this is made out of better steel than those which is kind of crazy when you think about it so what we got here then this is a bike from the early you know early to mid 90s i'm gonna say the center pool is pretty much predate this night as a 95, it predates 1995 because it's got center pull brakes on it. It's got seven speed shifters on it, which at the minute don't work. Now, if you have a set of these shifters and you have this problem where they do not catch, this mechanism in here, the grease turns to schmoo. If you put a bit of WD 40 or GT85 in there, it should work again. It might not, depending on if there's damage or not, because sometimes people cheap jiggling it and it breaks. The other shifter does. No, well, it was working. Oh, there we go. That's picking up. I don't know if it's picking up all three, but it's picking up on one of them. So yeah, Reynolds Chrome Body Tubing. We are running seven speeds, seven by three. And considering this thing was built in the uh, mid early to mid 1990s, it really doesn't look that well used. It's not got any mileage on it. You can see that just by looking at it. There's the uh, cassette, seven speed. Not as three wheel rubbish, <coughs> but it's not very tight. It's not been tightened up. So that will need tightening before you can actually ride the thing. I'm 100% sure that free up body's alright though. The uh, match wheel on there. We've got a, a Sierra, I think, rear derailleur. <coughs> Excuse me, I, I'm pretty terrible today. The uh, Sierra sticker's missing off of it, but you know, I'm pretty certain that's what it is. That's had some use. I think maybe he used it in the first year and then stopped using it. It's got Continental Touring tyres on it. This isn't really a mountain bike by modern standards. The tyres are definitely newer than the bike. Which is a good thing, because you don't really want to be rocking 20 plus year old tyres. It might have been an Olivio on the rear, because it's an Olivio on the front. So maybe it's not a Sierra, maybe it's Olivio. They look very, very similar. It's a uh, inch steer, unfortunately. No, it's modern inch H malarkey or tapered or anything like that. The most modern thing on here is the fact we've got quick release wheels. <laughs> you know, it's again not really a mountain bike by modern standards, it's more like a hybrid bike. It's got the big old cow horns on there, bar ends. It's an absolutely horrible seat unless you've got the world's biggest ass. It does have a quick release seat clamp. The seat post isn't stuck, which is good. I think this is for a mud guard. Centre pull brakes, of course. And yeah, that concludes the video on our Retro Claude Butler Genesis. See you later.